target. <laughs> What's up guys, Billy from Mad Max, and today we're gonna talk about my Bagara HMR 300 Win Mag. This beaut, this big, beautiful bastard. All right, so, I'm just gonna do a little backstory here. So, when I went to that 1,000 yard class, I came in second place, and I was using a 308 Remington 700. Everyone else had their 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, Remington, like everyone was using uh, Ruger Precision Rifles, right? The one kid that beat me, this is gonna sound super petty, was using a 300 Win Mag HMR by Bagar. Um, I didn't know too much about 300 Win Mag, at the time, so I like went out of my way, did a little bit of research, not enough, and I'll get into that in a second. But I wanted to build, like have a gunsmith build a 300 Win Mag for me from scratch. And I also like the look of all the, because I would, just got introduced to like precision shooting and uh, PRS and like competition PRS stuff. So I wanted like the chassis system by MDT and have like a nice barrel and nice glass and everything. So I started talking to some gunsmiths about it. And they said you could do one of two things. You could build one and take the time and it costs a lot of money and everything. Or you could go buy a complete rifle and then build off of that slowly. Or even go and buy like a trash uh, Remington 700, like a hunting gun, and then just take the action off and build off of that. But I started looking at complete rifles after that and then I found, like I did a little more research into the Bagara and don't, I don't want this to sound like I went out and bought a Bagara because that was the gun that beat me. Like I don't, I don't want to sound like Kevin Durant out there. But this, to me, is like the best bang for your buck rifle. I think I paid like a grand after everything for it. And the reason I went with this is because I don't have to do anything to it. It's good where it's at. Like Remington 700s, like the stocks aren't that good. The barrels aren't that good. This has everything. And we'll get into the details in a second, but. I kind of regret not doing a little more research because I wanted like a PRS gun that I can like run around and do PRS stuff with and 300 mag ain't it chief. If you're looking into 300 wood mag and you don't know anything about it like me, these guns heat up really fast, It's you can't be out there shooting all day consistently, you're just going to lose accuracy, the barrels get really hot, you're going to burn, they burn out quick between 2,000 and 5,000 rounds. And I, I just didn't know any of that. So this isn't gonna be my PRS gun. This isn't gonna be, a, like, this is gonna be a gun that I, my goal for next year is to take this out to a mile. I'm gonna have to go somewhere out west and figure it out. If you guys know any place to shoot a mile, drop it in the comments, please. But this is a very purpose-driven gun for, like, long range. I'm gonna do another 1,000-yard class, um, long range precision two, it, it's a little more deep in depth, uh, shooting moving targets, uh, alternate uh, firing position, stuff like that, but that's a different rabbit hole for a different day. I'm gonna have a PRS gun built next year in like 6BR or 6x47 Lapua. I want a 6 millimeter gun that doesn't heat up too fast, but again, we'll talk about that when the time comes. But this bad boy, this is what got me into hand loading, because I wanted to dial in that fat 220 grain bullet into something that would just blast shit. And then I also want to take this hunting this year. So I got some hunting rounds for that. But yeah, let's get into this gun. I'm gonna start from ass to tip. This stock on this, it's actually considered a mini chassis. I'll see if I can get a graphic up there for you, but inside here molded, there's like this miniature metal or some sort of metal alloy chassis that this bolts into that's bedded into the stock. So that's really cool. It's got the, it's fully free floated. It passes the dollar bill test. And it's got this nice adjustable cheek comb thing here, which is huge, especially when uh, you're not using like hunting rings. This is up kind of high, so you need that raised cheek comb, which is, uh, yeah, very nice. The action on this is based off a Remington 700. It's very smooth. I got no complaints there. This is, these actions would be the perfect uh, action to build off of. But like I was saying before, if you're buying a Bugar, you don't need to build off it. It's already there. Up top here, I got a loophole Mark V. I'm definitely not going to get into this at all today because I'm gonna do a separate video on this in the future once I get more and more rounds on it. Right now, I probably have like 400 rounds on this gun, which might not sound like a lot, but for 300 Win Mag is a good bit. 
and it's sitting in a spur mount. Uh, like I said, not going to go too far into it, but spoiler, this scope is definitely the truth. Look forward to that video. These, this barrel is a number six profile. It's 26 inches, 300 wind mag chambered, like I was saying. I'm not entirely sure of the twist rate at this moment, but I'll drop in a little graphic for you up there. What's nice about this, the bottom metal here takes AICS pattern magazines. It comes with one of these Magnum long action uh, mag pull. I would get AI mags, but they're $80. I'll stick with the $20 mag pulls for now. I'm new into this, don't need a splurge just yet, maybe in the future. Oh, another cool thing about this stock, it has the QD cups. Forgot to touch that in the beginning, but it has QD cups. So it is a hunting gun, but it's also a match gun. HMR, hunting match rifle, boom. But so if you're taking this out trekking through the woods, you can sling it up. That's why the cups are there. It's got two sling swivels on the bottom, so you can sling it up that way if you choose. The front one is for exactly what I do here, uh, for a bipod. I actually just got, a, unfortunately, a cheapy little weaver thing. I don't even, I don't even know what this thing is actually like called or where to look, but I was in my local gun store and it was what I needed, so I picked it up. It was inexpensive, but it definitely does a trick. Up front here, got the Atlas bipod. Love this thing. I'm probably gonna buy another one with a QD so I can swap it between like my scar and some other guns but it's fully adjustable in like every direction and it cans and does all that stuff and you can lock it in here for alternate firing positions and all sorts of good stuff and you can sorry and you can get some new bottom things tips for the bipod that will they have like spikes and stuff they got all sorts of good stuff check out Atlas if you haven't done that already well worth the money they are kind of pricey but definitely worth it up front here i got a sure fire socom muzzle brake 30 caliber if you're going to 300 wind mag i my opinion is that a muzzle brake is necessary because this thing will put a hurting on your shoulder um so i want a sure fire because once i dive into suppressors everything is just it's gonna be easy for everything to be sure fire that's pretty much why I chose that, but this does serve its purpose, like, it helps a lot. There's a noticeable difference. The barrel does come threaded with just a thread protector on it. Talk a little bit about the trigger. Go a little... So, it's a single stage, you're already at the wall. Not a lot of creep, if there's no creep. I keep thinking it's a AR. But there's not a lot of creep. It's very nice short trigger but it's Remington 700 trigger essentially it's an adjustable trigger I think you can go five two to five pounds I'll annotate somewhere what the actual is if I'm wrong but it is very above average trigger but I'm very used to the Geisley Remington 700 trigger that I have on my uh, 308 and Black Friday I'll be buying one of those for this just because I like the two stage the ammo I'm finding I have the best luck with with this specific rifle is the Federal 190 grain gold medal match with the CR Match Kings and the Sig Sauer, believe it or not, 190 grain open tip match. Uh, Hornady didn't work that good for me. Any of the Hornady that I've shot, the Amaxes, the Hollow Point, the Hollow Point Boat Tails or whatever, the 190s, the 208s. But the Federal I have had good luck with and the SIG but like I said this is what got me into hand loading so I'm hand loading 190s CR Match Kings and 220s CR Match Kings and I've had the best luck so far with the 220s I'm this is a sub MOA gun with 220s and I'm still working up the load with that but if you want a gun that will reach out and touch something 300 Win Mag would be a good direction to go if you want a 300 Win Mag in general or even the 308 65 Cream or Begara is an excellent rifle and it, it's out the box, ready to go. You don't have to do anything to it, you don't have to build on it. And I'm, they're somewhere, they teeter between like 900 and 1200, depending on where you look. So definitely, if you're looking into a bolt action gun and you don't wanna go crazy swapping stuff out like Remington 700 and where you gotta change out the stock to trigger, the actions have, have a bad reputation right now, 
this thing is smooth. Like the bolt pops right out. It's all machined really well. It's a two lug system, which eh. People are doing the three lug now, so you have the 60 degree bolt throw instead of 90 degree. But it, this definitely does a trick. I hope this video did something for you guys. I love this rifle, but I wish I did more research into 300 Win Mag before I bought it. I probably would end up buying something like this anyway, just because of how fun this is to shoot and how hard it hits out at distance. Like the video they saw in the beginning, I was shooting my target out at 200 yards and it just broke it off the stand. So I gotta go out there and fix that later. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this. If you did like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, as always, go eat a dick. And if you don't subscribe already, make sure you do that. If you got any more questions about this, if I didn't touch on something that you're wondering about, drop in the comments below. Check out my other videos. Follow me on Instagram, Mad Max Guns. And I'll see you next time.